video, we are going to show you how to set up a planted aquarium like this. We have to find a place to set the aquarium and we have to find a place that which there is less sunlight. So this is on my TV table I have this space and there is less sunlight which comes. So I am going to set it. These are the things that we need to uh, set up the aquarium. So first thing is a um, uh, fish tank. You can buy this tank from an aquarium shop. You can choose tank size based on your space available. Next, we need a substrate to grow the plants. I have taken medium sized gravel. It's better to choose smaller sized gravel. And the best substrate to grow aquarium plants is black soil, which you can buy from aquarium shops or online. But ensure that you're buying a good quality one. If you are using gravel, wash it 5 to 6 times to make it clean. Next, we need an aquarium light, a filter, based on the size of your tank. I have some fishes here. They are neon tetra. And I have some aquarium plants. I have some decorative items. This is driftwood and I have some decorative rocks. One has a plant attached to it. And you need fish food. Every day you need to put a pinch of it. These are the cleaning equipment. A fishing net. A stick so you can attach cotton at the end to clean the filter tube. A toothbrush and a scrubber in case you need it. I've kept my tank on the TV table. I've also kept a small piece of cardboard under it so that my table won't get dirty. Now I'm going to put the gravel. Now I'm leveling the gravel. I'm going to put some more gravel at the back because over there I'm going to grow all the plants. Now I'm going to arrange all my rocks driftwood and the plants. Now I am pouring the water, don't directly pour it onto the gravel. The water is very unclear. Leave it for a day to settle down. I'm adding some uh, tiny prawns as well. These are aquarium prawns. This is how 
it looks after an egg, it's still not very clear. Now I'm going to attach the light and the filter. This light is required for the growth of the plants. In a day, on your light just for 1 to 2 hours. When you on the filter, pour some water till it starts to operate. You should never off the filter. Now I'm going to on the light. Now I'm going to put the fishes. Now you can see the prawns and all the fishes. You can put different kind of fishes but you have to also ensure that the fishes don't eat the prawns egg and they don't pluck the plants. This is how it looks after two days. You can see how clear everything is. how it looks after 3 months. I have added some extra plants, uh, 2 algae eaters and some tubes for, so the plant can lay the egg. The planted aquarium maintenance is very less. You just need to give a pinch of food every day. Once in a week, take out 2 mugs of water and replace it with fresh water. Once in 2 months, take out the filter and clean it. We only have to do this much. In three months, I never use the scrubber or brush because the algae eaters and the prawns were cleaning the tank very well. about the planted aquarium is that it is a small ecosystem. Fishes get oxygen from the plants. The waste of the fishes become manure for the plants. Algae eaters and prawns will eat all the algae and any kind of dirt. That is why we need very less maintenance for a planted aquarium.